What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you from 5031 Media and today we're gonna to be talking about the Pixel 3 XL. Google was awesome enough to send this out to me with a, a nice little kit as a gift. There was no request for a video just to share and let you guys know what I think about it. This is gonna be my top five things I love about the Pixel 3 XL. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you a couple things that I don't like about it as well. So this is in no particular order. So the overall build quality. I love the way this white looks. I know that the black scratches pretty easy, but just the overall look of this phone, I really, really like I like the different colored power button I think that's a nice little flare uh, gives you a little something different the overall feel of it feels really good it feels super premium I like having the glass back so that way you can have the wireless charging which is another awesome feature but just overall it's really good and I know people are gonna talk about the notch on the front but honestly after a little while you just don't notice it much like the iPhone 10 and every other phone that has this notch you just don't notice it after a while. But overall, the build quality, the overall feel of the phone, the actual hardware feels really, really good. Number two is going to be the battery life. I talk about this before that battery life isn't that huge of a thing for me because you have wireless charging, fast wireless charging with this phone as well as with many others. Um, in 2018, really, if you don't have quick charging via plugging it in, or wireless charging. I don't know where you're at, but every phone that I've tried this year has those features. So aside from having the quick charging, just the overall battery life that I found on the Pixel 3 XL was really, really good. I use my phone a lot. Uh, a lot of social media, a lot of emails, a lot of texting. What I found is that I could get my normal full day. Uh, nothing crazy, I'm not gonna give you numbers because I think everybody uses their phone differently. So there's no point in saying, yes, it lasted me eight hours on screen time or whatever. I'll, I'll tweet that every once in a while, but really it lasted me what I would consider a full day. Three is gonna be the IP68 rating. I love that I don't have to worry about if my phone gets wet or my phone gets dirty. As you can see with this phone, I've used it we're getting some b-roll and puddles and i've used it out in the rain taking photos and just everything overall so i mean this technically could go underneath number one with the hardware i love 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 and this is pretty much a normal thing in 2018 much like i said with wireless fast wireless charging and quick charging but i wanted to make sure that i pointed this out this is a must with any flagship and if you have a flagship and you're not rocking at least ip67 there's no place for you in 2018. I'm sorry, it's just not. Okay, number four is going to be Android 9.0. Now, this isn't anything to do with the Android 9 or anything like that, but it's just pure Android. It's so nice, and it's gotten so much better since back in the day. I used to prefer Samsung just because of the extras that you would get with Samsung, just, you know, some of the extra features. Not all of the extra features, because they just pile crap on top of crap just to say, hey, look what we did. But I like that Android is now getting into where it is an, more than just a base operating system, it's a real operating system. And it's been like that for a few years, but there, you can really see the transition from, you know, five and six to nine. And I just really appreciate that. Stock Android, vanilla Android, you know, plain Jane Android is the only Android that anyone should really give a crap about. So number five is obviously the one that I think everybody already knew, and that's the camera. Now I've had a lot of cameras and or camera phones in the past. This one is by far the best one for just reaching in, taking a photo, and knowing that it's going to be quality and it's gonna be good. Google, whatever they're doing with only having one lens on the back, their, their portrait mode is better than anybody else's that I've used, including Apple's. Their overall picture quality is amazing. Their HDR just brings out, the dynamic range is ridiculous. The front-facing one where you have wide and normal two front-facing cameras, that's great. I'm not a big selfie one, but if I wanna take a picture with the kids and I need to, you know, I got a thousand kids, I can open that up and, and get everybody into frame. So that's all. Awesome. The other thing, and, and this is an honorable mention because it isn't officially out yet, and that's night mode. I sideloaded it in with an APK, and here's some samples. I put it up on Instagram, but this is just ridiculous. I mean, it's not a great picture, but you see the potential of if you have just poor lighting, how great it could be because the example I'm showing you is just about no light whatsoever, and then it's an actual photo when night mode is enabled. If we gotta rank them, camera's number one. The camera 
camera is amazing on this. Anybody that gets it's gonna love it. I think that's sort of universal, but camera is just amazing. You know, those are the, my top five things. I didn't want to do a whole video about what I didn't like about it. Figured I would just sprinkle these in at the end. The screen on the Pixel 3 XL is really good. It, I, I love it. The indoors, it's great. The, the, the vibrance, the punchiness of the colors. Just overall, it's a really good panel, but it is extremely dim to the point of when I was outside some days, I'm like, oh crap, let me turn up the brightness. And then I realize it's all the way bright and I can barely make it out. If you're outside a lot, say you've got an outside, you know, an outdoor job or you do something outside 90% of your day, this probably isn't gonna be the phone for you. And unless you wear like a big like sombrero, and then you can sort of tuck it underneath your hat and see what you're doing. But I mean, if you're outside on a sunny day or even an overcast bright day, the screen is almost unusable. Another thing that I disliked about this phone, and it really doesn't have to do with the phone and or Android per se, it's just development for Android is very difficult. And that became painfully obvious when one, the first weekend I had this phone, I was making the decision to pull my main SIM out of my iPhone 10s Max into the Pixel 3 XL and I couldn't do it. And the main reason was Instagram. I would have to say the first weekend, at least 10 different instances where the app became unresponsive. I just couldn't really do what I wanted to do. And the main thing was when I tried to do an Instagram story, when I would slide over, it just would not slide over until I had to close down the app, not even just go out and back in, but like literally close the app down, swipe it out, shut it down and then reopen it. And I'm telling you, the first weekend that happened at least 10 times. There was at least two to three updates in the first two weeks of having this phone for Instagram, and it did not address that particular problem. So again, that's not a problem with the Pixel 3 XL. It's more of an Android problem because there's so many Android phones. Really, Android is so fragmented that it's very difficult for a developer to pinpoint issues on specific phones because you're talking hundreds of phones every year that are going to be using Android that's very difficult for any developer to find bugs in every single version. Now I would think the Pixel 3 XL would be being that it's Google's flagship that would be one they would sort of hyper focus on and maybe it's just so new that they haven't found this issue yet. Yeah I mean if you can't get Instagram working I'm sorry you don't get my main sim. Really, those are the only two issues that I had with the phone. Now, to me, they're rather large issues. Uh, the screen I could probably get away with because I don't spend too much time outside because who wants to spend too much time outside? And just another thing, a sort of an honorable mention for awesome things on this phone are the dual front facing speakers. Please, 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 every manufacturer figure out how to do this. Please figure out how to do it without adding a big notch. Uh, I think it's awesome. The, the, the sound quality on these are just amazing. These have to be the best speakers I've ever heard on any phone ever. That's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you have the Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL with what your favorite features are down in the comment section below. Or if you're thinking about getting it, what's stopping you from getting it right away? Or what are you looking forward to once you get it? So if you haven't subscribed, you can do that down there as well. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one.